In this presentation, we're going to explore the connected car, its threat landscape, and the means of establishing a security operations center, SOC, for safely and securely running a connected car service. We're going to start with talking about the rise of connected cars, then how to build a connected car SOC, and how to operate the SOC, and finish the presentation with talking about how to protect the connected car ecosystem from cyber threats. The automotive industry is in the midst of a massive transformation, rapidly evolving into a service economy with eyes set on transportation as a service or mobility as a service. At the base of this transformation is connectivity, enabling vehicles to be connected to an automotive cloud for operational, customer experience, and massive data benefits. Today, according to Gartner, there are already over 100 million connected vehicles, both OEM as well as aftermarket fleets. That figure is going to expand dramatically, and within a few years, the vast majority of new vehicles shipped will be connected according to Accenture. Vehicle connectivity inherently creates new attack vectors for hackers to expose. Near field attack, where a hacker is in close proximity to the vehicle and uses things like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Remote attack, which are more dangerous and likely. Hackers can target the automotive cloud with telematics and other app servers or the mobile application to pivot into the automotive cars. Remote attacks are more serious as they can impact multiple vehicles at the same time, something we coin fleet-wide hacks. The combination of connectivity and the inherent cybersecurity risks are bringing OEMs across the board to establish automotive SOCs as a key element in addressing these cyber threats. In the next slides, we're going to drill down into the right approach into building a connected car SOC, how to secure each individual element in the architecture, how to secure the entire connected car service as a whole. The primary goal of the SOC is to provide the security analysts with a global end-to-end -end view of the entire connected car service in order to get a root cause analysis and remediation as fast as possible. The data sources for the connected car service may also extend past a specific OEM service into value-added applications and integration with third-party sources like Smart City that also need to be taken into account. Here you can see the many types of data sources that the security solution will need to ingest and analyze. And the various security solutions that can also contribute to the big picture. Some of them will come from the IT side of the business. For example, think of a disgruntled employee trying to misuse the telematics server and impact vehicles. The conclusion is that there needs to be a solution for aggregating and understanding all these data sources and create a single source of truth. We call that centralized connected car security. Not every SOC will be the same, but here are some of the main elements that we believe most automotive SOCs need to have. Now that we've seen the various elements in the SOC, let's see how to operate the SOC. In the SOC, there will be similar people to the ones manning an IT SOC, but in addition, OEMs need new types of people with automotive expertise, telematics, as well as in-vehicle understanding. This is a brand new discipline that does not exist in the enterprise side. One of the first things that the SOC will need to do is to develop playbooks that are geared towards automotive events. Here we see an example for a playbook for bad or anomalous telemetry after photo update, a firmware over-the-air update. The playbook is aimed to start at the symptom, which is a data health violation, and do a gradual and systematic process to reach the root cause and discover the problem. In this example, we see that the violations are following a photo update. The analysis problem aims to collect the cars that are affected by the issue and then to pass the problem for the correct owner in the SOC or product teams. In this case, it is the photo owner in case of a buggy or bad photo and the in-vehicle owner in case of installing an unauthorized photo locally. Here's a typical cyber scenario involving takeover of elements in the automotive cloud and involving both the IT and OT sides of the business. In this example, the telematics server attacks the fleet by sending start engine command to 300 vehicles at the same time. Then, the automotive cloud security sends an alert to SIM. The SIM correlates the detected anomaly to administrator A login to the telematics server, 
And finally, administrator A is blocked. Here we see another scenario with similar flow that Upstream actually encountered in the field of a rogue OTA software update. As we've seen, one of the key elements towards creating an effective SOC for automotive is a single source of truth solution that can analyze all the various automotive data feeds and detect cybersecurity and business policy incidents in real time. Upstream Security built the first solution in the world to address this complex problem. Upstream C4 provides an agentless, no software or hardware in vehicle that can ingest and correlate multiple data feeds in the automotive cloud and distill them into actionable detection. The solution integrates seamlessly with your anonymized data feeds and capable of protecting vehicles already on the road today. To learn more about how Upstream C4 can integrate into your SOC, and become your single source of truth solution for detecting cybersecurity and business policy incidents, please contact us. Thank you for watching.